This is the Era 70B by Winnebago. It's based upon a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter platform. It features a 3-liter, 6-cylinder turbo diesel engine. This is the 170-inch wheelbase version of this van. This particular coach was equipped with the Alcoa aluminum wheels. There's a couple of new features from Mercedes included that were not part of the previous models. One of them is in this lower compartment of this passenger door. There's a first aid kit. In the dash, this is the Mercedes-Benz radio. It's an AM FM radio. This does not have navigation built into it. You can manually bring the camera up on this particular model and you can drive with the camera on. You have to bring it up each time though otherwise it just clicks on when you're in reverse much like it does in a passenger car. There's a little snap-in cover just to cover up the freshwater tank fill, winterization valve, just conveniently located just inside the door and then this cover snaps over it. Both driver and passenger seat swivel. That's what these knobs are for here. You simply press, press the knob, slide it to the side, and the seat will swivel around, which we'll show you here in a minute. Has an electric awning. Dual tires in the back. You have outlets for cable as well as a 12 volt port you have two 110 outlet receptacles and on the right that is where you would plug in your portable solar panel the coach does have solar up on the roof when you look at the back of the 70b you see a couple of items first of all the 5,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector this is where the table is stowed in travel and then the piece on the right is the part that you make the bed down with there's a blockout screen as well as a blockout shade that slides up and down. I've pulled the cover, the snaps loose on the top edge, and you can see that there's a good amount of storage available underneath this sofa. So it'd be a great place to carry some additional gear along with you. And then we'll show you where the table goes in just a second. This particular coach was equipped with the roof rack and the removable ladder. The ladder can actually come loose and go up this side of the coach. The utility compartment is on this side. This particular coach in the 70B, it does use a macerator. You can see your power cord input and then this is just the output for the outside shower. You have both hot and cold water available outside. Simply snap the hose into place and then down below it is the where the utility compartment is and again the 70B has uses a uh, macerator and the compartment in front of that will be where the LP fill is. You can see the drain pump. You also have a water pump switch out here as well as your tank drains and your park cable input and a black tank flush, all conveniently located in this compartment. And again, the hose for the macerator. Now let's go take a look at the inside of the ERA 170B. We've come up inside. You can see the battery cutoff switch right inside the door. The table leg clamps in. You can see all of your controls the control for the inverter, as well as your Truma Combi control. Also this touch screen panel. This is where you would check your holding tank gauges, simply hitting the home button. It's where you would put the sofa up or down. This is also where you would run the awning in or out. Where you would start the generator. Turn on the water pump. This is your air conditioning control and then finally just to lock the screen out. Above that's the solar controller. Again you have solar on the roof and an input for a portable nice storage cabinet above the 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. 
At the front, you have a nice storage cabinet that opens on the right. It does not open on the left-hand side. There is storage that goes across there, but the left-hand side does not open. All of the overhead cabinets make for great interior storage. Sink with a cover, as well as a three-burner stove. The all-in-one wet bath, nice shower head, there's a rod that will you can also take out if you needed additional headroom but could also be used for a drying rack. Convection microwave located underneath the cabinet, the storage closet, this is simply the cab mat and the block out curtains for the side. Here's the table placed at the front of the coach. Here's the table placed at the rear of the coach. And you can see the cushions for seating on the side, cup holders. This is also TV for riding in the back. Then lastly, this is the bed folded down. This entire area converts into a sleeping area. Then as I lift up these two cushions, you'll see where the table and that other extension are. This has been the ERA 70B by Winnebago.